what's the way forward from here that you see? Well, you know, one part of it is, I think a lot of it's what I mentioned. I think a lot of it is really having, whether it's a conversation with yourself or a conversation like we're having, to begin to move into an, a more a heightened awareness and acceptance of all of this. Mm -hmm. And then another piece is what I mentioned earlier, that we're fixated on the form. We're, we're fixated on the form and the structure. And so what's happening is all these old forms and structures are breaking down, or you could say that they're dying. And so if all we focus on is the form and the structure, it looks like everything around us is falling apart. But for those of us that have an ability to see in other ways, in more of an energetic way, there's a realization that all of this energy that's been bound up in these structures and forms that are no longer functional are, is now liberated for new possibilities and for new forms and new structures that can emerge in response to the, the opportunities and the challenges that we face. But human beings are literally hypnotized at the level of form and structure and so they actually are not able to relate to the whole other side of the coin that's going on which is a whole new space of possibility that's opening up but it doesn't exist yet in the world of form and structure so people can't relate to it because they're hypnotized into only relating to form and structure so that's a really big part of it Another big part of it is that people don't have a sense on more of a cosmic or global level of what is occurring. They don't s see what's occurring in a bigger picture. So for example, it's like when someone uh, decides to do a cleansing program. It's very important for them to understand that in the context of the cleansing process, what will happen is that uh, molecules and energies and frequencies and microorganisms that are no long and thoughts and feelings that are no longer able to coexist with the new level of cleanliness of that person's body they have to go somewhere they can't stay and so very often in the process of that energy releasing there can be some somewhat uncomfortable symptoms. There could be fever, headache, joint pain, uh, memories coming up from the past, emotions that you've been repressing. Now let's say that the person didn't know that that was a natural part of a bigger process. They could get really scared. Right. But if they knew that it was part of a larger process that had a purpose, that had a design, that had a thrust, that had a direction, and they had an understanding of this project that these symptoms were a part of, they would respond differently to those symptoms. So take that, take that little vignette that I painted of an individual, and let's take that same pattern, but let's apply it to a society or let's apply that same way of thinking to a level of planetary cleansing or a level of societal cleansing. What's happening is people are seeing the symptoms, people are seeing the fever, people are seeing the joint pain, people are seeing the headache, people are seeing the itchiness, the redness, but they don't have an appreciation of this being part of a larger thing that's going on that actually has some life promoting properties. And so that's a really big part of what is perpetuating the angst and the lack of faith because there's not an appreciation for the bigger picture. And what is that bigger picture? Well, that bigger picture is that life or spirit has its own imperative which is con to continue to express itself and to create uh, conditions and opportunities for life to thrive and what's happening 
it, it's like, have you ever been in a relationship where um, the way it was set up and the way the psychology of the other person was set up and the way the behavior and the commitments of that other person were set up that you realized that you couldn't continue to authentically grow and develop within the context of that relationship? Yes. Have you ever had that experience? Uh -huh, I have. Okay, so take that same idea and imagine that life or spirit now has that same viewpoint about our world as it's currently structured. Imagine if life felt constrained. Imagine if life or spirit felt like, I mean, I'm obviously using poetic license here, but imagine if spirit felt suffocated. Imagine it by this relationship called our society. Imagine if the structures and forms that were established to allow society to work maybe uh, 75 years ago are completely inappropriate to the opportunities and challenges at hand. Mm -hmm. And so life is life is doing its thing. Life is uh, is is realizing that the structures that currently exist in which to unfold itself are suffocating itself more than it's allowing itself to flourish and unfold and that life and that spirit cannot be stopped and in fact in truth we're one with that life but we've forgotten that we've gotten hypnotized in thinking that we are these forms and structures that are breaking down and that's why we're so frightened and so to begin to recover our awareness of our true identity that can be centered in the middle of all of this is really the key that will allow a more authentic unfoldment of life, not only in what we feel like is our own being and our own body and in our own mind, but also at the level of our relationships, at the level of our groups, at the level of our organizations, at the level of our communities, and at the level of our entire culture, if, if the new form of life is going to unfold and work, it has to come from a place where the people in that culture have a new sense of who they are and a new sense of who other people are and a new sense of what life is and a new sense of what's possible. And that's really what your work encompasses. It's about helping people remove the blockages right. to that space. Right. It's not like I'm trying to give people something I think they don't have. Right. I'm trying to help people access something that is already them, but they have blockages to the awareness of it. And until you know who you are, you can't responsibly utilize the faculties and the resources and the potentials that you are and we're so blind to our blindness we're so blind to we don't know what we don't know and we don't have a way of getting at what we don't know we don't know but I have the privilege of knowing a way of being with people that helps people to have access to what they don't know they don't know and they recover a knowingness about who they are and then I have also ways once people get back to that knowingness of helping them to guide them through the process of kind of re-emerging of kind of unfolding themselves again back into life so I have expertise both in helping people getting back to that access to who they really are, and then I also have expertise in helping people to express and unfold that authenticity. So, uh, in the last uh, event we had, uh, it was very clear, at least to me, that the whole room was witnessing this and being part of it too, so there was a lot of healing going on beyond just the person on the table. So that's what this event is, these events are really uh, all about, what they encompass. So They're really about empowering people to be able to 
handle this 18 months that are coming up where there's going to be such rapid change mm -hmm. to be able to be in a place with themselves where they not only are empowered to be themselves but they're also can be kind of like a fountainhead for their families for their organizations for their communities because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be needing that kind of that kind of fountainhead anchor mm -hmm. in light and love and support so I invite the viewers here to attend Dr. David's workshops, uh, events on healing with Dr. David. I mean, this is a, a an overview and a in more in-depth look at some of the um, processing. I, I want to say maybe that's not the right word. Maybe some of the ideas that frame my work. Yeah, the and ideas. give shape to my work. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, if. If the viewers out there are interested, uh, I invite you to contact me, and that's Kathy Bibby, and my phone number is 650-489-6778 if you'd like to register and come to these events, which are, have proven to me to be incredibly powerful. Or you can email me at kebibby at gmail.com. And can and I also say that sure. we, we're, we're having these events on a donation basis? so that no one is turned away due to lack of funds. Great. Well, thank you, Dr. David. I'm so happy that you're in the world today to bring light to the world. Well, thank you. And, you know, I would encourage the viewers, if you would just watch this video three or four times, there's a lot of healing if you open up to it that's available just in this video, and I hope to meet you in person at one of the evening with the doctor event soon and Kathy thanks for uh, making this conversation possible my pleasure and my honor bye for now bye